for women, but as guys, we just, we have to go harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? We just have to become harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? We just, it's what it is. We just got to get harder. Yeah, there's no way to, to put it. You know what I mean? We just got to go harder. And it's one of those things, man. It's one of those things. We just, we got to get things done. You know what I mean? And we got to welcome that, that competition, right? Like it's, we're back, we're back to the caveman life, right? It's like fight or flight, man. It's like ex die or not to die, right? Like this is extinction. You know what I mean? This is extinction at the end of the day, bro. We got to go get a bag. You know what I mean? And I got to make sure I do what I got to do. I got to make order of things, right? Like it's, it's tough to just say, okay, I'm going to take the time to draw. No, man, I can't do that. I have to. What I have to do is I need to go get, finish this stuff so I can get back to what I like to do, right? You know, we have some time. And obviously, even if the world goes to a complete desert, it's not, it's not like we, we're still going to have things that we could do, right? Like there's still water we could drink, right? Still greenhouse foods we could eat, right? Like there's going to be vegetables. We're going to have vegetables still. You know what I mean? We're going to have fish. You know, if we have the tech, we're going to have fish, you know? We gotta be careful, right? Because obviously I'm gonna put these things on the table. Like the Bible has, like, I'm not even gonna bring the Bible into this. Because if if I'm in in a in a situation where it's like I'm not I'm not going to make an entrance into an afterlife of heaven, yeah, then it's like I can't. I don't want to put the Bible on the line like that. You know what I mean? Because there might be some people that need it. You know, like there might be some individuals that need it. Man, it's like I'm just I'm here talking about it like if it's like some like little toy, you know what I mean? And that's to some people that's history. Other people it's peace of mind, right? Like, and to others it's just it's a book. It's another book that you know they're able to read and they're able to you know make use of their understanding, their their hold of you know life. You know, they're human understanding. So it's like, I'm not going to put the Bible or any of the sacred texts out there, right? But, you know, that said, you know, the world, we have to, we have to pick up the pieces and we got to, we got to do some things, man. We got to do some things. You know, I'll say this, man. Like, sometimes my mind gets troubled because it's like, you know what I mean? Like, my mind gets troubled because it's like, I want to do things. And, you know, I get caught in different decisions. Like, yo, what, what is my next, what is my next step going to be? You know what I mean? What is my next path going to be? It's like, it's tough, man. It's tough because you want to say, okay, yeah, I'll just do this. I'll do that. But I'm not equipped yet, right? I'm not equipped yet. And that's, that's the thing about me, right? Like, I'm trying to go out to war, right? And just, you know, just so you guys see how the bucket, you know, the bucket doesn't really look good. Uh, good on me, to be honest. You know, uh, buckets don't fit me. You know, I'm a, I'm an open I'm a, I'm an open head kind of guy. You know what I mean? I've always been an open head kind of guy. You know, I like like my hair to breathe and things like that. But yeah, it's like I need to put on my armor, and I think with, with my armor, you know, all things included, namesake, and just like within the times, armor is just education. Armor is understanding. Armor is going with what you need, right? Like others, armor is just, you know, strength, endurance, right? And like, don't get me wrong. I could have played that game, but you know, the world doesn't need, and I'm not going to say I'm a Tasmanian tiger, but like, you know, the world doesn't need too many stripes out on the field, right? You know, cause that means I was, I was meant for a bigger role and you know, the bigger role doesn't always mean I have to be the bigger person. Right. The big role may just mean I need to take bigger steps. You know, I need to plan bigger things. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's what, you know, the bigger role could mean. Right. So I got to get that kind of stuff done. You know what I mean? That's 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 what the goal is. Because, yeah, man, I could always talk about life. I could always talk about regrets, things I didn't do or didn't get to do. But it's not fair, right? It's not fair on people. It's not fair on life. It's not fair on situations. It's not fair on opportunity, right? So it's like, 
We gotta, we gotta try to order some things, right? We gotta try to order some things. Like my whole life is gonna be dedicated to just like education. My whole life is gonna be dedicated to, you know, art. You know, and, and you gotta live and die by it, right? Like you gotta live and die by it, right? It's what it is, right? Anybody could create art, but like you gotta know what you gotta do, right? And you gotta you gotta make use of how things are right now. Like I'm not gonna be like, okay, man, from what I used to be, I'm just gonna. I'm going to give you guys a, a, a company with like, oh, say, you know, 500 different kind of stories. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, and mind you, I'm not saying that be mindful to those people that hear this, right? Because you don't want to hear this and feel inclined to, you know, start pumping out 500, you know, works of art you know, or bodies, you know, story bodies. But you just got to know that like. You know, uh, life is not as simple as, you know, it seems, you know, and you just got to know yourself, right? You got to know yourself. You got to know your ambitions, right? You got to know what you want to do, right? You got to know what you want to do, right? So that's what it's all about. Anyways, we gotta get some. We got we got a lot of work to do. So anyways, we took we took the texts that we you know we thought were were gonna be meaningful for us, right? Like obviously we could take down everything, but it's like you gotta know what you want, right? You gotta know what you want. And right now, like yeah, you know, archiving sounds cool, right? Like we're we're in that business of law, right? We're in that business of law, but you know. We gotta, we gotta know what we want to do, right? And like for me, education is important, or at least having some peace of mind. And I gotta look at it like this: like yo, this stuff could get, you know, this stuff could probably get tampered or you know erased. What could I have done differently? Probably had sex, or you know, it could have been anything, right? Like that's just life. Excuse me, you just gotta, you gotta learn how to adapt, man. You gotta learn how to adapt. Would have been nice to say, okay, look, uh, I could have got a condo or something like that. We gotta work, we gotta work, right? Like, if the world turns to shit, what are we gonna do? We gotta well, fight or kill people? No, it's probably gonna just be a weight game. And it's like, we can't do that, right? We can't do that. We gotta make some plans, right? We gotta adapt. So, like, for me, I, I'll i say this for one, bro. I'm trying to go to the Middle East. 
You know what I mean? I'm trying to go to the Middle East. I want to see what's what's going on over there. Like, you know, this side of the world is pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Like, we we got a lot of things going on. But, like, for immigrants to adapt, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, right? And we got to come prepared. And it's going to get to that point where, you know, only a few people are going to... It's like, it depends on what you want, right? Like, if you like, if you just want to come out with the body and the vibes, then yeah, bro, I say you got to be out there right now doing what you got to do. You know what I mean? But... Cause trust me, I wanna, I want everyone to succeed to, to some degree, right? Like, I'm not gonna say that because I can't say that. I, I can't say that humbly or truthfully because it's like so many people have tried to damage me that it's like, yo, they have given me no space to say, okay, look, you know, let's, let's, uh, what's it called? Giving me no space to say, okay, look, man. You know, uh, I'll welcome that thought. Because I've had some damaging thoughts, you know, like just some ideas that are just like, yo, man, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that, you know, and just some evil thoughts, man. Like, you know, people that were out to like just harm me or whatever. And it's like, mm. You know, I want to, I want to do otherwise, but it's like, man, man, it's like, I gotta, I gotta change, I gotta change, right? I gotta change. You know? thinking to myself, man. Guys, don't, don't, you know, don't judge me. I'm a little, I'm a little under the handsome right now. <laughs> you know, I'm a little under handsome right now. Or far from handsome. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a little far from handsome right now. Yeah. That's not the focus, man. The focus is we gotta get these we gotta get these things done, right? Like I I think for me the goal is like I gotta think of like okay, what if what if our country is under a cyber attack? Right? Like, if our country is under a cyber attack, what are we going to do? All right? Like, the greatest fear could be, like, yeah, if the satellites go down. Like, yeah, if the satellites go down, then we're, we're, we're back to books and stuff like that. You know, we're back to communication. And sure, you know what I mean? Like, that's, it's cool and all. All right? Like, that stuff's cool. But, like, I think we, we're in that, we're in that state where it's, like, we depend on things too much. It's like, you know, we're in a situation where we depend on these thing, things too much. So it's like, you know, we're not prepared for, for the worst. And it's like, I think that's, that's what we have to get to. We need to prepare for the worst. Like, yeah, we could always get satellites back up, but like, you know, how, how do we navigate towards that? Right? Like, how do we navigate towards that? I ain't, I'm not trying to be the hero, but like. We need to we need to find a way to navigate 
outside of those boundaries, right? Like, for one, I definitely need a vehicle. I definitely need a vehicle. You know what I mean? I definitely need a vehicle. I need to get out there. Ideally, I want the, the Tesla Cybertruck. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's electric. And I hope, I'm hoping it has the, because uh, I know the Tesla, they have a, a touch screen where it's like they have like a computer inside. If the Cybertruck has a computer, amazing. You know what I mean? I would get the GMC Silverado, whatever that the, side, the, the electric truck is. But like, I don't want to be too religiously fanatic. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to put people in danger, right? You know, it's one thing about me having faith. It's another about, you know, me knowing my role, you know, and like, you know, it's the same thing with fire. You know, fire might be a, a very dangerous thing, you know, or a very useful thing. But like, if you're using it, if you're, if you're walking in like a house of gas, it's like, it's, it's probably safer not to bring, you know, the match, the matches or, or the torch or the, the lighter, you know? It's just, it's like one of those things, man. It's one of those things. And trust me, man, I'm trying to get a car. I'm trying to, I, I want to get a dog, but like, uh, I think I'm going to go get a car. I think I'm going to go get a car, man. I've been, I've been, I've been on the streets for too long, man. I've been on the streets for too long. I need to go get a car. You know what I mean? I got to go get a car. And it's tough, man, because, like, ah, man, you know, some of my bosses are beautiful, man. Beautiful. And, like, I would love to just be a fuckboy and be like, ah, you yeah. know. Like, we're in these times where it's like you can't, you can't afford to be like that. Right? Like, we got, we gotta, we gotta get serious about life. You know what I mean? We gotta get serious about life. You know what I mean? And it's like, you can't, you can't live your life like, all right, you know, I'm gonna, fuck around you know what i mean like the world is changing <laughs> the world is changing like the environment is, 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 is it's 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 on a serious note you know what i mean and i can't be i can't be behind that wave you know what i mean i can't be behind that wave like right now i'm in a safe place like how long is that gonna last right like you can only have sheltered zones for so long right like for instance this house doesn't even have solar panels up on them yet we don't even have solar panels. You know what I mean? Like, we need solar panels. You know what I mean? We don't even have solar panels. Uh, it's like, there's a lot, man. There's a lot. Like, it's like, it don't make sense. You know, and the streets, the streets are getting, the streets are getting dirty. You know what I mean? The streets are getting real dirty. You know, a lot of incest, a lot of, a lot of, you know, a lot of drugs. Like, it's, it's, you know, the streets are getting, the streets are getting dirty. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to do my part, man. I'm just trying to do my part. You know what I mean? I don't want to get in anybody's way, but like I gotta, I gotta make sure I try to catch up on this stuff, man. I gotta make sure I try to catch up on some of this stuff, man. Cause man, we're behind, man. We're behind by a lot. You know what I mean? We're behind by a lot. You gotta catch up. You gotta catch up. You know what I mean? You gotta catch up.
Because I think my plan is, if 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 I could save enough, is to do environmental tech. And mind you, it's it's one thing to talk about it. It's one thing to talk about it. It's the other thing to do it, right? But if I could get into environmental tech, right, and then get into electromechanical, pair that with pre-health, right? Pair that with pre-health. And then obviously, then we're off to Waterloo, bro. We got to go to Waterloo. Waterloo, and I think either we go grab math. We go grab math from Waterloo. Not York. I feel like ter- the Toronto scene is just it's too much now. You know, UFT was uh, UFT was the limit. You know, UFT was the limit. But to go to, to York and then just fool around, you know, like there's so many people in the area that have probably went to York and they're like, yeah, bro, what is, what is he going to really accomplish, right? So ideally the goal is going to be Waterloo. Ideally the goal is going to be Waterloo. Not York, it's going to be Waterloo. Because eventually, you know, the grads from York who are probably, they went in during my year, you know, and I went in around 2014, Post, post-secondary, 2013, 2012, right? But I'll say this is like, you know, um, yeah, the goal is not, it'd probably be Waterloo. That's the, that's the next goal. And possibly getting married, right? Like, I, I met, a, I met a, a few good people. I met one girl. She's pretty nice. It was pretty nice. Yo, East African. You know I love East Africans, man. I love East Africans, man. She's East African. Honestly, if I if I could have had an Indian wife, man, that would have been nice too. But like, you know, the Indians they busy, they busy, they're busy. You know, they're pretty busy right now. So, man, it would have been. I'm telling you, it would have been nice if I had like a nice, authentic Indian. You know, roti making. You know, uh, Bollywood. You know, uh, well nourished. You know, uh, woman, but like, you know, I gotta grow up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I gotta grow up. So, you know, I ain't know where I'm going. I'm going back to the motherland. You know what I mean? Just listening to Star Wars. Oh, man. So anyways, we're on section six, part twenty-six.
Yeah, he's solid. He's solid. So yeah, you know, just working on some archives and that's that, you know, I'm pretty much filling up the, the, the database of YouTube. You know, I'll, I'll say this, like, uh, a fear could be like, yo, man, with all that I am and all the art and business and everything, like, let's say I get murdered for whatever reason, like, someone says, okay, look, we're gonna recreate history, you know, we want this guy to be Malcolm, you know what I mean, we just want the world to go to complete shit, because we want to fill our ball sacks with, like, super energy, it's like, if that happens... One thing I'll just put this out there, you know, so a wise guy from Scarborough once said, you know, sometimes fear is a good thing. A little fear is a good thing. And I think that's something I hold true to myself, man. Like a little fear is a good thing, man. I think that's like those are words of wisdom that you, you keep with yourself, right? You know, you try to apply it, you know, you 
you try to apply it to uh, to many areas of your life. <laughs> a little fear is a good thing. It definitely is, right? It's not good to just be self-righteous, so courageous, you know, thinking that you're unstoppable, unbreakable. And don't get me wrong, like I not to say in life I didn't have fears. I had a lot of fears, right? I had a lot of fears. So it's not one of those things that, you know, every it's it covers all things. It applies on all areas. 